Haha, surprise! Now, what's this about slapping? Can I slap? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna risk it. Crouch. Need to face him. I am facing him. Okay, apparently you can't slap people when they're laying down. Still can't talk to him about it. Stop. You had... Okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. You had skooma on you, and I took it. Just go away. Right? Or did I not take it yet? <gasps> Why does it do that? Take it. it. It's worthless to me anyway. But no quest update. But he doesn't mind that I take it. That's a slaughterfish, right? Oops, I'm not wearing my water walking thing. Oh shit. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I can't get up! Slaughterfish, slaughterfish. Okay. The glint. What did that say? The glint of metal catches your eye from beneath the dock! <gasps> What am I looking for? I'm in all my stuff here, but what am I looking for? Oh! <gasps> Lexidus shield! Right behind their house. <gasps> Maybe I killed them justly. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is! I have it! His shield and his cuirass. Uh, I have learned... Oh, wrong one. I have found Lexidus' uh, shield underwater beneath the fishing dock in Malapi. It appears to have been heavily scarred in a recent battle. I should ask the fishermen if they know anything about it. I've gathered up enough clues in my investigation. The evidence does not point to one of the villagers being responsible. Something more is going on here. I have to see if Rumar is again... Okay, presumably because I already killed Salahan and the other lady, I can't talk to them about this. That's... I murdered them unjustly. But they came... they came at me, bro! I had permission from her to investigate, and they were all like, Get out of here! And I tried to kill me. I guess I was searching through the stuff, which maybe she didn't give me permission to do that, but search the village for clues... Sure sounds like search the village for clues. Your investigation seems to have gone well. I see you've uncovered a number of clues, but I have something more to tell you about this. Okay. I did not want to mention it sooner because I was not sure I could trust you, but it seems we now have no choice. Someone is trying to set us up. Not long before Lexus was murdered, another guard named Calidius Rex was in town for some reason. He would not say why he was here to any of us, but I overheard him arguing with Lexus about something to do with watch assignments. Everyone here knows Lexus hated this assignment, but I can't explain why he'd argue with another watchman about it. Hmm. The argument stopped, but I had noticed not noticed, Calidius had left the area. I did not think anything of it until you found the body. How do you not notice somebody had left the, not left the area? I believe Calidius is trying to frame us by leaving behind items that would incriminate us as the murderers. Something is not right, though. There is nothing more to find here, and I don't dare go into Leowin and start asking suspicious questions. It is up to you to go to Leowin and find out more about this Calidius Rex guards there are unlikely to be suspicious of you asking them. Well, shit. I killed two people for no goddamn reason. Other than that they came at me. I guess I'm fine with it, you know? I, Nebenor, Dunmer, and, and member of the Fighters Guild... Oh, this is gonna cast a bad pall on the Fighters Guild. <sighs> Alright, let's tell Kumars. Kumars. It's my pleasure. Please continue. I have to tell you that in the course of my investigation, I had to kill Salahan and his wife, whose name escapes me. Her name starts with a V. I was searching their home for clues, as you told me to do, and they took exception. Tried to kill me. I had to defend myself, and in defending myself, I slew both of them. I apologize. Good day. She doesn't seem bothered. 
Damn, this reflects poorly on the fighter's guild, my handling of it. Totally bungled this thing. Well, before we go to Leowin, let's try to do what we actually came down here for. Then we'll go to Leowin and ask around for this Calidius person. Also, when a freaking guard is killed, it's very helpful if you tell your investigator that you just recently saw him in an argument with somebody. That'd be very helpful. Just kill these guys because they're going to kill me, so... Or try to kill me anyway. This is the tomb. So you know, I think way back an entire episode ago, I was trying to tell you guys... Oh my god, somebody's been breaking the coffins out. I was trying to tell you guys why it is that I am okay with raiding this tomb versus just paying for the debt. The first is, as a member of the Fighters Guild, we have to do what the person paying us to do the job asks. And the person paying us to do the job asked us to retrieve this from her grandfather's tomb. The person doing this job did not ask us to pay her money for the debt. That's one. Two, uh, I think from a religious perspective, Nebish thinks to himself, well, this isn't a Dunmer tomb. Uh, if a, if a Imperial or Breton or whatever the hell she was asks me to raid her grandfather's tomb. Ooh, that's creepy. What time of day is it? Why did that just start? Um, if a non-Dunmer asks me to raid their non-Dunmer tomb to retrieve something, well then... What the hell? Why not? If it doesn't bother them, it must not bother me. Let's put on this ring. Grand ring of Night Eye, right? I'll take off Endurance for now and go with Night Eye. And we're encumbered because of this damn gear that I had to pick up. Who knows what we're going to be dealing with in here. Let's take a feather. Uh, give me my menu, please. <laughs> Hitting buttons and nothing's happening. That's a bit better. Zombies? Why are there zombies in here? You went flying. Whoa, shit. Freaking lich. Okay. Whoops. Archery practice, maybe. It's a summons. Hmm. Not making any hits. Quit summoning things, you bastard. <laughs> Ow. The hell? What is that? Ow! Stop it, you jerk! Let's just go in guns blazing, huh? Freaking hell. Easier to just batter him to death. White oak arrows. A staff of anarchy. Not really worth very much. 
a whole bunch of poison ingredients, but I think I'll I think I'm good on poisons, honestly. Take the arrow, but I'll leave the lich dust because it's hard for me to find a purpose for it. And I don't sell it. Oh! Holy balls. Um, okay, there's actually no other way in there. No oh, game, don't do that. Game. Come on. Game! Christ. <laughs> Trying to kill it. Ah! Game was very laggy there. I don't appreciate that one bit. I think that Lich had some kind of hacking spell. Yes? Oh, I'm still here. Okay, you know what? Uh, it's occurred to me, since I am raiding a tomb, I, I'm coming here for one particular thing because I've been asked to. But apart from that, I don't think I'm going to take the gold that's in there. And I probably shouldn't take anything that's not on enemies that I've killed. Shouldn't take anything except the armor that she needs and whatever loot is on actual enemies. Okay, fine. You stupid bastards. Now, these guys maybe I can do some bow work with. Huh? Holy shit! What? You... <laughs> Ugh. You summoned a spectral warrior? Fuck you. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, he expired. Okay. I was like, where did he go? Wait a minute. This is a chance to heal. <laughs> Don't fuck this up. Take some honey, actually. And a mighty potion for you. Oh, fuck. Get past him. That was the way to do it. God damn. Summoning freaking spectral warriors, you asshole. Oh, my feather's gonna wear out. No, the light, the light that he gave me was going to wear out. Okay, that's fine. Rock wall. Where's his staff? Conflagration. That's not a bad staff. I need to heal up again. God. Ugh. This is a tough dungeon. All things told. I did not expect liches to be summoning spectral warriors, but... Uh, I want more of those. Should we see what's this way first? Before we go pulling ropes? Hard chest. Is this going to have the armor in it? Possibly. If it doesn't, I'm not going to take anything, though. These are some tall freaking mushrooms. We've never seen them this tall. Oh. Could this be? A locked coffin. Alright. Out of character a bit. But we do have to raid the coffin to try to find the gear. Nothing. Not this one. Remember about that pull rope. We'll go back there. 
Holy oh. shit. Untrustworthy, this old tomb. Ugh, I have to find out if the gear's back here, you stupid... There's a chest. There might be... The, uh, the gear might be in there. Alright, fine. You know what? Let's go the other way first. If we need to fuck with that, we'll fuck with it. Pugh. Ooh, music is perfect. Straight zombies. Okay. Ah, there's more. Very good. Ah, I don't care too much about the arrows. These aren't really worth much anyway. I don't think the gear is going to be in here. Now that I see that there's another cell. Nope, not taking anything. Okay. What time is it? Okay, we still got time before nightfall. Oh, this isn't another cell. Lately we've been finding ourselves ourselves in a position to have to search a lot of coffins. Which is a little unusual. Oh, hello. Grusef Amelian's shield. Check these coffins just in case. Skull, no. No. Also, no. And no. Okay. Ah, okay. Sarcophagus chamber. This has got to be the way to go then. Another lich. else? Somebody else. Let's just do the whole damn thing, huh? Oh, his summons stopped me. Okay. Now, let's Switch rings here. Grand ring of night eye comes off. Grand ring of endurance goes on. And we staff it. Rusef Emilian's greaves. It's gonna weigh a lot. Cool. We don't see these too many places. Staff of Severing sucks. I can see your butt. Oh, there's more. Oh, the door back. Okay. 
Gotta look everywhere, gotta look everywhere. Vampire's coffin, that's weird. No. No. Oh, hello. Persephamelion's sword. Persephamelion's cuirass. Severing. A quest update. And I'm over in comfort. Right. Take a feather. That's it for this room, then. Killed that skeleton, don't even bother to check it. I think we found everything we need, but let's just look around anyway. So who else is buried in here, then? Other Amelion family members? A whole bunch of people are buried in here. Corrosion. I think if Nebish was slaying liches, he would bother to, like, sever their heads. Because they seem like the kind, like, skeletons, okay, you know, you can just blow skeletons apart. Maybe they come back later on or something like that. But liches definitely look like they're just going to get up and walk around again. Alright, I think we're good. So I think BNA said she only needed um, her grandfather's sword and cuirass, but we'll give her everything we found. Shield, greaves, did we find boots? I don't think we found boots or gauntlets, or maybe not even a helmet. Oh, helmet. Cool, okay. Just leave us. Right next. Oh, right next to the entrance to the. No, that entrance is up there. I gotta look again. I didn't look. Close to the entrance. Okay. Well. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll go back to Water's Edge. turn in the quest because we have all this gear we have to get rid of. Then maybe we'll whoa, we'll march down to Leowin tonight still. Okay, let's switch amulets again. March down to Leowin tonight and invest uh, sleep there in the fighters guild and investigate the um Investigate the Malapi murder tomorrow. And I'm responsible for two innocent deaths today, but I don't feel terrible about it. Whoa, wait a minute, what's this? Who is this? I didn't speak to anybody who looked like you. Is this... This is the woman. Yeah, okay. I killed the two that lived in the house. <laughs> the other house, not her. Yeah, two innocent deaths on my hands today, but I don't feel too bad about it because I was doing a job that... <gasps> excuse me. The erstwhile mayor of Malapi hired me to do. They took exception. I assumed when they took exception they must have been guilty, so I tried to kill them. Or they actually, they tried to kill me, and so I felt justified in trying to kill them.
Okay. Here we go. Knock, knock. Hi. Hello again. Have you had any luck finding the sword and armor? I have. It was actually rather tough, but here you go. You found them? Fantastic! I can't tell you what this means to me. Uh, here are the sword and armor, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hopefully I'll be able to sell these for enough to pay my debt. You're a lifesaver. You're quite welcome. Your grandfather must have been uh, quite an adventurer in his day. I can't tell you how much your help means to me. Thank you again. You're welcome. Now... I'll never forget this. The hell? Like a sheep pen? Now, because we have it, and I'm not going to sell it, that'd be a little bit wrong, wouldn't it? Uh, let's drop this stuff and give it to her. What the hell? You can't put it on top of the pen? You cannot put it on top of the pen. Oh, please. What? I'm trying to do this. That I can. Couldn't do the helmet, though. There we go. Okay, madam, there's the rest of your grandfather's stuff if you'd like to do anything with it. I hope you will tell everyone the Fighters Guild did a capable job for you. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to eat dinner here, and we'll talk for a little bit while I eat dinner. And then I'll head to town. How about a bottle of mead with the lady? It's more boar's meat, I think. Maybe, uh... No, jerky's more for the road, I think. Sweet cake? And, I guess, cheese, because that's pretty much all I got. Oh, and a blackberry. Vienna, it was my pleasure. Take care, lady. I hope to see you around. She stood up to see me out. That's very kind of her. Alright. Let's head back to Lewin, then. Let's, before I forget, let's put my amulet back on. So yes, we will tonight sleep in Leowin, tomorrow investigate the Malapi murder further, and then if we finish, tomorrow we'll march our way back towards Shadenhall and stop by Fort Redmond on the way. If it takes us more than a day to investigate the murder, then we'll just do it at that pace. Good evening! Good evening. Occupied guards, I suppose. Iliad Ruin up there. What's that one? I don't know, but I'm not going near it. Not when I'm rather heavily encumbered. I have other important business to attend to. Namely murder. Uh, solving murders. And, and incidentally committing murders while we're trying to solve murders. But murders in self-defense, which I think everyone would agree we were justified in defending ourselves there. Oh no. Oh, yeah. The uh, gargoyle. Okay. I'm gonna say that's what that guy's dead from. I'm sure he's not dead from the Malapi. The Malapi Calidius guy came back and he's just like, I'm killing all the guards! <laughs> this quest would be berserk. I'll murder every guard that I see. Now, who am I supposed to ask about this? I wonder if I'll have to go to the castle about this. What time is it? It's probably too late to go to the castle. Just stay in five claws. 
Maybe I'll see if I can talk to Witsudutsi about it. Otherwise, maybe I'll just march over to the Fighter's Guild and stay there, because I can stay there for free. Don't know what you guys are doing, don't want to know. What? Witsudutsi, do you know anything about this? You don't. Okay. Presumably then, your face is in the Mage's Guild. Elendil of Whitehaven. Hey, it's Tumbly Bumblefuck. Elendil Sunlight came right from Whitehaven. It happens to be a, quite a cold and mysterious Altmer when you first meet him. Be assured, though, he warms up when he's amongst friends, even if he's not uh, still not the kind of mare to slap your back and laugh at vulgar jokes. No, <laughs> he's a bit too clumsy for that. Quite an educated man, he looks rather young, but surprised us with his wisdom and experience. Elendil doesn't seem to be willing to tell us much about his homeland and his youth. He appears to have left Whitehaven a long time ago, but went back there until a few years ago. He still has bonds, maybe family or a love story, but we couldn't get much from him as our questions seem to embarrass him. He has family in Morrowind, though, and was more than happy to tell us about his sister and her store and to teach us some interesting stories about the exotic countries of Dunmer. Most of the spells he brought to the Mages Guild of Cyrodiil come from Whitehaven, but others are right from Morrowind. These are some pretty interesting ones. When we came in Leowin to interview this calm and private man, we were first directed to look for him in the Guild's laboratory. He wasn't there, but we saw in that room a few clues leading us to believe he was a specialist of some kind of conjuration. Admittedly, we were even a bit scared that he could bring necromancy in Cyrodiil again from his various travels. But when we finally met him and asked him directly, we were quickly reassured. His clothes only would have sufficed to convince us. He looks quite the opposite of a practitioner of the dark arts. Actually, conjuration isn't even one of his primary focuses amongst all the schools of magic. Elendil's apparently a lot more interested in the arts of destruction and could teach anybody else how sophisticated and complex these can be. Here are a few of the spells he accepted to tell us about. Arcane Chest grants access to a magical storage through the diffractions of a diamond. The mage is also able to get everything back from the arcane chest by sacrificing a pearl instead of a flawless diamond. Void Explosion, ideal to dispatch enemies when outnumbered in close combat. Send them all flying in the air and shock them a good punch to try and get them to learn a lesson. Or finish them while they're trying to stand up again. Heaven's Fury, for a short duration, enemies near the spellcaster will be devastated by frost out of nowhere. Nova Spells A rather short duration, but inflict a brutal elemental, uh, brutal elemental damages across a large area centered on the spellcaster. The master level Superior Shock Nova Spell, for example, can potentially ravage anything but the strongest creatures in a whole room. Summon Bear The Secrets of Nature Summoning reveals some powerful creatures that can hear the call of the mage. The bear is amongst the most powerful of these. Failing, failing Clothing A rather surprising spell brought into our warmer countries for apprentices in the art of destruction. It does limited damage to its target, but cripples its armor. Even leather and fur armor can't stand against the true cold, and Daedric isn't much more useful. Enemies would be better protected wearing real clothes sometimes. Okay, it's like a damage armor f spell, but it sounds like it takes your clothes off. That's weird. Food for thought. Transmutes 200 gold into food. You can't tell exactly what kind of food you'll end up with, but at least there should be plenty enough to satisfy your stomach for that day. Translocation Madness Wave. For the duration of the spell, the affected number or uh, people or creatures in its area of effect will start switching places all over, unable to control their own movements. That sounds like an incredibly fun spell. Ice Age. The master of the elemental powers of destruction magic can freeze his enemies at a distance. The victim of this frost spell may very well die in one or two seconds, but if it doesn't, he'll have a hard time standing up again and gathering his forces completely drained by the cold. Fortune Intervention. That spell allows the master, a conjurer, to call a hunger, a gnarl, and something else to his help. Who knows what other creature will hear his call? Anyway, it can't really go wrong at this stage, all these summons will stick to his side for quite a long time. As a counterpart for such a powerful summon, the spellcaster will see his magic regeneration stunted for a short period. Interesting. We encountered a similar note in the... oh god game. In the... 
through the Mage's Guild in Skingrad? No, the Inn. Um. Why is it so laggy? What's the Inn? Uh. West Wheeled Inn. God, it's yeah. laggy. In Skingrad. Uh, a similar article about. <gasps> this is the Captain of the Guard. I should ask her. How was that sound? Hi. What? Do you know anything about a Calidius Rex? I'm not asking for any external reasons. Cal Calidius Rex? No, sorry, I haven't seen him lately. Hmm. Move along, citizen. I won't abide loitering. Okay. Have to ask other guards, I suppose. Um, yes, similar note about the Khajiit uh, mage added to the Skingrad mages guild. I think that's from... Oh, look, here's Elendil himself. I think that's from uh, the Stranded Light. And you'll have to forgive... Go ahead. <laughs> forgive the creator of the mod. I don't believe he or she is an English first speaker. Excuse you. If I can ask this guard about it. We're here to serve. Indeed. Do you know anything about Calidius Rex? Sorry, I haven't seen him lately. Hmm. Take care. What about you? What? Probably the same thing, huh? Interesting. Farewell. Apparently I have to ask somebody that's not a guard. We'll check the journal entry when we get into bed. Hi. Go ahead. Do you know anything about Calidius Rex? You. No. You too. Who else would know about the guards other than the guards and the captain of the guards? The Countess, maybe? Or the Count? Did we have dinner? We did. We had dinner with Bienna. That's right. Hi, Woody. Take it. It's been a long time. Oh, it's my pleasure. Please continue. Could you uh, take a look at this armor for me? For the me? right price, I can make anything good as and, new. And weapon. Oop, oh, don't need to do that. Don't need to do that either, actually. Sorry. Sorry. Need to do that, though. Thanks. Good day. So I guess straight up to bed, then. Let's hear it. Read any good Can I ask books any like of you guys about it? Excuse me. Sorry. A pleasure to speak with... Calidius? No. You too. Thanks. Hey. Well met. Thank you. You know anything about Calidius? Farewell. Good. My favorite bed is available. Okay, let's check the journal really quick. Before retiring. As I suspected, Kumars knows more about this than she originally let on. One of the other town guards from Leo and Calidius Rex was here recently and had a big argument about watch assignments with Lexidus shortly before his death. It looks like I will need to head for Leowin and ask the guards if they know where I can find Calidius. I've done that and nobody knows where he is. I'll have to find out who else to talk to tomorrow. This is a very high room given that we have a floor above us still. Could have ended the, the walls right there. Had a shorter building. You don't need this much ceiling space in here. What's in these? Nothing of consequence, it looks like. 
just as well. Um, let's just hit the hay. Yep, bedtime. Tomorrow we'll do more investigation. Um, try to figure this thing out before we head for Fort Redmond and Shaden Hall beyond. Lappy murders. Murder singular. We're responsible for the other two. 